Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. Don't leave this video until you give it a huge thumbs up and comment down below. So today's video, I am going to be sharing with you how to get authentic, vintage, 90s finger waves on a pixie haircut as well as how to shave the side of your pixie wig if you've been following my channel for a while you've probably seen a few years ago a video that i posted a tutorial actually on how to shave the side of your frontal or your lace wig that video is super helpful so if you've never seen it make sure you guys check it out i did want to piggyback on that particular video and instead of doing the shaved side on a longer wig i decided to do it on this pixie cut Wig. What you're seeing right now is a bob that I cut into a pixie haircut. I posted this video a few weeks ago, so if you have not seen that video of how I did this cut, make sure you guys check that video out. I'll have all of the information down below in the description box, the direct link, and everything. This wig is from Eva Wigs. I'll have all of their information also down below in the description box. This is the wig that we will be working with today, so let's jump right into the tutorial. So to do this hairstyle, of course, you need a clipper set. I'll be grabbing this clipper set from Wall Clippers. All of the guards are color coded and I feel like that's super easy for beginners. Make sure you guys get your hands on a beginner friendly clipper set if you have never done this process before. I'm going to start off with the yellow number five and then I'm going to move on to the three eighth of an inch, 10 millimeters, which is blue number three. So today I'll be freestyling and freehanding this haircut. So I'm just going to move the wig around and decide which side I want to shave. One side of the wig is already pretty flat and I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to go over to the other side of the wig, which is pretty much the bang. I cut that part to be heavier in density because I wanted a very full bang there. And that's the part or the side of the wig that we'll be shaving down. So because the other side is also thinner in density, I am shaving this side and that's going to give it kind of like a mohawkish look because both sides will then look flat to the naked eye. I want to give this shaved side a modern twist. So I will be leaving some of the hair out and that is going to be where the sideburns are going to be. So I'm just going to basically take my rat tail comb and decide how much of this pixie cut I want to actually shave. I'm going to grab the yellow guard number five and I'm just going to begin to taper and basically cut away some of that density just to get an idea of how short I want to go with this side cut. So I'm just going to use that yellow guard to do that. I am grabbing some mousse and you will see me simultaneously taking the mousse in my comb and combing downwards just to see how much of that density was actually taken away with the clippers. After I'm completely satisfied, I'll be grabbing the next guard, which is number three, three eighth of an inch, the blue guard. And I'll basically be getting a closer shave with that guard. And I'm basically going to keep doing that until I'm completely satisfied with the length and density of the side cut. So remember when I told you that I was freehanding this haircut, that's basically what I am doing. I know I want to go for a 90s vintage finger wave type of look. So I want to make sure that I have enough length on my side cut to actually do something that imitates the start of a finger wave. So you see me trying to make sure that I have enough um, length to do that. I do know that I want to go for lines within this side cut because what is a side cut without lines right so I'm just going to remove the guard and I am basically just going to freehand this again I'm just going to improvise and actually just press the clipper into the lace it's not going to cut it it didn't cut it at all I have no holes or anything in my lace I'm going to do that and basically just try to get an even line um, I do want two lines though so I'm going to decide where I want to have the second line at and I want to be mindful that I will be having sideburns there. So that's going to help me determine where I want the placement of the second line to be. To do the lines, I did not make any parts or anything within the side cut. I just literally brushed it down or combed it down with my comb. And then I grabbed the clipper and then I decided where I wanted it to be. And then I pressed it into the hair and that cut. A line into it. 
I'm just going to grab some more mousse and comb down with my comb. And you may notice that there are some longer hairs that are still straggling and hanging on. <laughs> but I'm just going to grab my scissors and cut that evenly just so that I can have a uniformed, polished, even look. Because I do have a sideburn on this side, I want to make sure that I am defining the hair around my ear so that it can fit comfortably on my head and just so that it can look more polished and just so that you can know that that's a sideburn right there. So I'm just going to grab my clippers and cut around where my ear or the shape of my ear would be. So I know you can see that there is darkness right there. It's black. That's actually where the comb is underneath the wig. The comb placement right there makes it look like there's extra hair there. So from here, I have three options. I can A, remove the comb completely so that you won't be able to still see that comb through the lace. I can B, add makeup onto the lace. Or I can C, leave the wig alone and not do anything I'm just going to leave the wig alone and not do anything. I already told you guys that that's the comb. So just ignore that if you are able to see it once the wig is installed. Okay, on to my favorite part. It's time to do some vintage finger waves. The first thing that I'm going to do is fully saturate the wig with some water. The second thing I'm going to do is grab some foam wrap lotion. Then I'm also going to grab a bottle of spritz. I'm going to apply the foam mousse wrap lotion as well as the spritz to the hair and then I'm going to grab two combs and begin finger waving. Okay, so I'm going to share a secret with you. One of the most vital tools for getting an authentic 30s or 90s finger wave set is to use Marcel wave clips with your finger waves. It's nearly impossible to find these Marcel vintage wave clips. So I improvised a little bit and I came up with my own solution. In order to get this authentic finger wave set, I will be using normal hair clips. Pay attention to how I apply these and you'll see the reason why I use them when I'm finished. So for the back of the hair, I'm not going to worry about using any hair clips. I'm just going to do very loose waves. Okay, so now it's time to style the shaved side of this wig. I'll be spraying it with water, applying Eco Styler Gel, the styling mousse, as well as the spritz, and I'll be styling it with my comb. So now that we're finished styling the wig, I will be grabbing some hair wrap strips. I'm going to place these strips over the wig and then place the wig under the hair dryer for about an hour and then I'll come back. You can totally leave the wig as it is and install it onto your head, but I did grab my curling iron and I did just curl certain areas of the wig. That's totally optional. You do not have to do that part. 
Are you as obsessed with these beautiful vintage 3D waves as I am? Are you as obsessed with this gorgeous pixie cut wig as I am? Comment down below and give this video a huge thumbs up. Here is the wig after being installed with only got to be gel. I am obsessed. As you can see, I love it. I am so, so, so head over heels in love with this wig, with this hairstyle. Yes. I'll have all of the information down below in the description box. If you did learn something new, make sure you guys thumbs up this video and share it with your friends. If you're new to my channel, I have a ton of tutorials posted already. So make sure you check out a playlist or just browse my channel for something that may interest you. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on that post notification bell to be notified of all of my future uploads. What is a cute name for this wig? Comment your name suggestions down below in the comment section. As always, thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezoza.